like, where's me? What? What's wrong with this? There we go. Now where's me big? Let's make me small. Good morning, good morning. Hang on. Let me mute the echo. Done. Let me pick the microphone up so we have good quality microphone. <clears throat> it's Wednesday at the Tiny Corp. <laughs> Sorry, I know that was loud. I'll just turn my light on. We have we have proper lighting now. We're gonna. Right. Let me let me make this a little more. Uh, No, I don't want any of these weird colors. Okay, I got playing with the light. Oh, you can't see that at all. Why the dynamic range on this thing is terrible. Ah, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. We want it to be a little warm. It's Tiny Corp Wednesday, hello. Well, that light is bright. How is anyone supposed to function in this kind of bright light? Let's turn it down a little bit. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so what are we doing today? Well, I have some good news. Uh, The new uh, Tiny Grad is now in Open Pilot. Um, so we switched from the OpenCL backend, which is now deleted. We switched to the GPU backend. Uh, and the GPU backend is nice because it can be used everywhere. Um, And I ran the test here to confirm the model's good. So this just checks compared to, we have like a backend runner that we use, we call it the pipeline. Um, so the, uh, the blue comes from the pipeline, the red comes from my run of the model. You just kind of make sure they look the same. If they look the same, I updated the reference commit. And then we pushed uh, the latest tiny grad to the uh, open pilot repo. So today, let's look. We have the goals of uh, Tiny Grad, the Tiny Corp, on that board over there. Um, number one is beat PyTorch CPU on M1 at everything. That's kind of stupid. I decided because no one cares about CPU. Oh, Torch MPS is so bad. Half the things don't even work. Um, to delete comp, make open pilot fast without it, no more ugly kernels. That is done. That is done. We we did delete for the most part. We deleted comp. Uh, let me kind of show this to you. Let me, let me rotate it so you guys can see. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it all. I'm gonna go over here, and we're gonna check this off. Marker's broken. You're screaming on stream. My marker's broken. Broken marker. Uh, all right, so I don't know what we're gonna do because we can't have black anymore. All right, no more black. Uh, we can have blue. Blue's almost like black. Ah, blue's good, okay, good. So we'll put a check mark next to that. Um, don't do three until one is done. Well, one I decided was stupid, so we're just gonna put a question mark next to one. This is the Tiny Corp. Uh, over here you can see, what would it take to get comma 
to switch to, oh, here, let me make this big. Actually, wait, is that backwards? I don't know how I feel about that. It's backwards for you. Oh, there's a way to like flip this. There we go. Okay, there we go. We're going to the we're going to the board here. All right, All right good. Wow, wow, wow. This is this is legit, man. The production value of this stream is pretty high. Okay. Uh this light's kind of in the way. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is this is this is the board where we where we plan everything for the tiny core. Um, I have a suitcase here. I should probably move this. Let me move this suitcase. Uh, that should really go in the closet. What do I have here? Oh, a sewing kit. I jumped over a fence and ripped my sweater. So I bought a sewing kit on Amazon. Uh, headphones, AirPod tubes, these are good. Vape. Um, a Google Coral, ew. Oh, even more disgusting, a COVID mask. Um, a dollar and a foreign power plug. All right, well, we'll keep the foreign power plug. We'll put the dollar with the other dollars. And then we can move this suitcase. What's this? Oh, a USB cable. It can go on the bed. It's a later problem. The suitcase is going in the closet. Yes. Closet, okay, good. Oh, look. We're tidying up the tiny corp office. This is a new kind of stream today. This is a new kind of stream today. Uh, let's move this light over here. And let's turn it up. Ah, there we go. Okay, can everyone see the board? Oh, we use Triton. Are we gonna use Triton? Yeah, I think we're gonna use Triton. Uh, the other Triton guy lives in San Diego. Um, he's cool. <clears throat> we don't even need this anymore. This was all stupid. Okay. Welcome to the Tiny Corp. We have a whiteboard, we have everything. Should I get an office? Should I rent a Tiny Corp office? Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna beat PyTorch 2.0. Well, so you can see here, what would it take to get Kama to switch to Tiny Grad for training? Release fastest stable diffusion on the M1. I'm gonna erase this. A lot of people spend a lot of time doing this. You're not gonna be able to compete with these like hand, hand unrolled things. Uh, it was a good idea, but. You heard Triton is mad good with AMD GPUs? I don't think it supports AMD GPUs. I think it only supports CUDA. So we're not gonna write a CUDA backend for TinyGrad. We're gonna use, uh, we're gonna use Triton. What did I put the blue marker? Oh, the blue marker. Black marker's broken. Well, so we didn't delete com. Um, I'm still on an M1, I didn't get an M2. Okay. So we have some goals. Uh, Kama is contracting the Tiny Corp. Uh, our goals are quantization and uh, our goal is support for the Qualcomm uh, DSP. Obviously, we have to do one before we do two. Uh, I bought a Steam Deck last night. Let's see if it's any good. I heard it's based on Arch Linux. <laughs> um, 
I don't know what 12 weeks means, we can get rid of that. This is still a very good question. What would it take to get Kama to switch to Tiny Grad for training? And I feel like Triton's probably the way to do this. Like, it's, it's, it's gonna be hard for me to be able to do that without Triton. So maybe we just shouldn't spend time on anything else. I should just really start on the Triton kernel. Uh, the SSD is only slow if you get the one with one flash chip. And it, yeah, it's sad that Apple did that, but you know. Um, then we'll go three until one is done. Like I spent time looking into like the AMX and stuff, and it's it's cool in theory, but. Uh, so what this will do here is it will get rid of SNPE entirely, uh, which is kind of nice. Where is this light? We have this light. Yeah, AMD Intel is still in progress for Triton. All right, should we do some reading about what Triton is? I was looking through the code. So like the Python JIT stuff's not gonna work for us because TinyGrad generates its kernel. So we'll have to write a translator uh, for the AST. What would Qual, the only way Qualcomm could collaborate is if they wanna send me money. Like to be honest, I don't know guys, I'm a little bummed. I'm a little bummed about the Tiny Corp. I'm like, is this just a waste of time? You know? Is it just like, am I just gonna like lose to PyTorch 2.0? Uh, oh, another thing, S tier cinematography. Is that a good tier or a bad tier? <laughs> uh, all right. Let me rotate this a little bit. Uh, where are the analog matrix multiplication chips? No, you know what I was saying, Alex, last night? I was like, I feel so bad for everyone who did AI chips. Like it's just such, it's even a worse business than the tiny core. Um, give up tiny core, provide Boston Dynamics robot and run open pilot on it. No, I don't think we're gonna do that. I know AMD's working on Triton support. Yeah, check that out. So we should look into what Triton is doing that we can't do for ourselves. I know it has like a few levels of IR. Uh, I feel bad about Jim Keller. Kind of, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, I know a lot about that situation, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, I don't know. I don't, feel, I don't feel bad for Jim Keller as a person. I, I think that just, uh, you know, Tense Torrent is... is uh, it's very hard to win in AI chips. It's very, very hard to win. I don't know what it is about me. Like I picked the weirdest stuff. Uh, oh man, you know, you know what I was looking at this morning? I was looking at Shapeways and their, their SPAC. I was just looking at like Chris Dixon's other investments, you know, I'm just, it's all sad, man. What did venture capital produce? Did it produce anything? Uh, is dog coming? Uh, which dog, the real dog or the robot dog? Uh, no, we're dealing with some manufacturing issues at Como. I'm learning about nitrogen. If we need to put nitrogen in our refill oven, oven to prevent oxid oxidization. Uh, tell you about ML and investing. What, you want to use ML for invest? Oh, I can't even. I can't even chat. You make me stupider. Um, oh, all right. Uh, okay. I mean, we did number two. We actually did number two. We, we did number two. Uh, no more ugly kernels, check. We got rid of all the ugly kernels. I'll show you what we replaced it with. It's really nice. Um, good, good, good. At least I feel like there's progress uh, at the tiny core. Let me zoom out. There we go. I feel like the camera's gonna fall and you guys are gonna have to be like, George dropped us. Uh, No, I'm, yeah, like it's, it's gonna be really hard to compete with NVIDIA. 
and mostly it's because of the software stack. Okay, and also there's there's kind of two like worlds, right? There's the world of small GPUs, let's say like one to eight GPUs, right? Let me get a new color. There's purple, right? Tiny grad is for one to eight GPUs, right? Once you get beyond that, things start to scale differently. Um, when you think of basically each GPU itself kind of as a CUDA core, and then you're going across, uh, yeah, kind of got his ASTs, I can, I can show them to you. Um, are we parsing stuff? Well, no, we're kind of thinking, right? And what I told the optimism people, I'm like, uh, before you write code, you should spend time thinking and make sure you're writing the right code. Because a lot of time people spend writing the wrong code. And then you're still gonna write the wrong code even after you think about it. And then, um, hey, but this is a Wednesday at the Tiny Corp. We just kind of sit around and think about what we're going to do. Think twice, code once, and you're still not going to, uh, yeah, 16 is a crypto pump in that one. You're still not going to write the right code. <laughs> uh, maybe the third time you write it, you'll write something kind of good. I've rewritten Tiny Grant so many times. Yeah. So, uh, okay, I can draw out, let, let me draw you what a tiny grad, uh, what a tiny grad kernel looks like. So you, you, can, you can take things in and do element-wise operations on them. All right, uh, can you see this? I don't think you can see this, it's a terrible color. For example, this is what like a uh, like a maple kernel, a uh, comp kernel looks like, right? So we have like the inputs and the weights, and this is a multiply. Um, then we have like a reduce operator, right? This is like a sum. And then if we want to do something like a uh, like a like a ReLU or something, which is just a max, right? And then uh, it actually supports a final reshape. I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see this. Um, this is, there's a lot of movement ops here. Yeah. So this is, this is like a, a, an AST. And tiny grads things okay. So tiny grad basically, it starts with a very torch-like interface in Tensor, and then it goes into ML Ops. Uh, yeah, you guys want to follow this through with the code? I can show you in the code. So it starts with this file called tensor. Uh, tensors were all like the Tensors were all like the PyTorch stuff is. Um, this stuff is all, they're high level operations, right? And some operations you can uh, just make out of low level operations. Um, as you'll see like here, take like softmax for example, right? Like PyTorch would probably have a kernel for softmax. We don't have a kernel for softmax. We just write it like this. Um, yeah. No, 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 we're not increasing the font size, bro. If you can't see, that's your problem. Um,
So th this is the the highest level in Tiny Grad. This I'm very happy with. It barely changes. And you can do pretty much all the operations you do in PyTorch. And the beauty is when you write something new, like here, look at LUV, right? Like you're like, oh, this is never going to be fast. But it actually is because this is all compiled down in the back end to one kernel. Um, if you do like a com followed by an LU, that all compiles down to one kernel, uh, even though you wrote the code like this. No types. Yeah, there's not really types here. You can add them. Is it faster than PyTorch? Well, it depends on what. It's faster on Qualcomm GPU than PyTorch, hell yeah. Um, it's faster than SMPE. It's the fastest thing you can get now for Qualcomm GPUs, which I guess is kind of an accomplishment. I'm going to Qualcomm GPU is what OpenPilot's using to do inference on the model. So this is actually being used now in OpenPilot. So it's not totally useless in academic anymore. Um, yeah, so actually there's a layer above this uh, called Onyx. Um, and Onyx will just uh, run an Onyx model using the high-level operations in tensor.py. Yeah, I'm... I'm so if you're not familiar with the Tiny Corporation, you can go to tinygrad.org. Uh, we write and maintain TinyGrad, the fastest growing neural network framework. Uh, so this is TinyGrad. You can see that we have almost 10,000 stars. If you guys go star it right now, it'll probably go above 10,000. Um, yeah. It's very uh, simple. I think we're gonna have to use. I think we're gonna have to use Triton. Let's take a minute and let's look at what Triton is. But we'll, we'll get there in a minute. Let me let me finish the uh, little tour first, right? So these are the high level operations. You can read the tensor class. Um, you guys should should read along. Uh, download download Tiny Grad. Um, everyone go everyone go. Come on come on go check out this GitHub repo. Is the get Copilot? I don't use Copilot. I don't find these things useful. Um, everyone come on read along. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny grad is to TensorFlow's Flask is to Django. You want a link? Um, you guys think I'm wasting my time with this? Is this stupid? Uh, well, the main thing that I'm targeting is simplicity. So it is really easy to add a back end to, uh, to Tiny grad. Like this is the CPU back end. This is the whole CPU back end. You can look at how simple it is. And there's nothing particularly like um, like you just basically have to write a bunch of these operations. You don't actually need processing op. Uh, processing op is optional. You can replace processing op with a reduce or the binary op and a reduce op. Uh, micrograds purely academic. Tiny grads actually used in OpenPilot. Um, we just updated it to, to the latest version. Actually, I can just show you. You want, you want to see what the like I can show you it. I'll show you it. Like compile the OpenPilot model. Uh, so I can go like Python three OpenPilot compile. Let's run it on the GPU. Let's set image equal to two. And let's throw some debug in there so you guys can see it. Uh, so this is a run of the OpenPilot model. Oh, those run times are actually real now. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, no, they're actually not. No, no, this is still hacked up, but um, Yeah, so these are the It's compiling the open pilot model to uh, 200 kernels Down from 216 in the previous one um, I can show you this too so we can do like graph equals one yeah, you can run you can run stable diffusion. Uh, you want to run stable diffusion? We'll run stable diffusion. You want to generate porn? Like, is porn allowed on Twitch? I don't think porn's allowed on Twitch. Um, so this is a graphical representation. You probably saw me look at these graphs a lot. Um, so there actually isn't a, there's no, there, these used to be convolutions, but they're not convolutions anymore. They're just reduce ops. Uh, this is like a massively fused kernel. So this includes a binary op and a reduce op. 
in one, kind of zoom this out a little bit, you can see the, uh, so OpenPilot model is two heads. Uh, this is an efficient net B2. This is an efficient net B0 operating on the wide cam. Uh, we're gonna go through the, these are the vision models. This is where we fuse them together. Uh, we fuse them together. This here is the, uh, we used to use a, uh, we used to use an RNN, but now we don't. Now we explicitly do it. So it just, uh, is that really how that's supposed to be coded? That kind of looks terrible. Is that really right? What is this doing? No, so I mean, it's probably right. Um, and then these are the uh, different output layers of OpenPilot. I think this is the pose head because the pose head doesn't have any, this is the temporal context mixer. Uh, the new ones have transformers. This is actually right. Um, and then, yeah, we do some compute on the policy heads. Then we concatenate them all together because it's easier to only use one output. But this is this is the open pilot model in the latest version of TinyGrad. This is actually being run. Um, okay, so we were at ML ops. So after Tensor, uh, the things that it calls into the base ops here are these ML ops. These ML ops you can see have a. Uh, I forgot that I added that one. Um, oh, we can also do uh, stable diffusion. Set steps to 20, phrase into uh, people watching Twitch on their couch. So this is gonna run, this is gonna run stable diffusion. I, I did this on stream previously. Um, and it's gonna run. I can run it with some debug if you wanna actually see what it's running. It's a, it's a little bit slow. Uh, we're running this not on the, uh, oh, you wanna say highly detailed 4K? Okay, fine. Highly detailed. 4K, and we're also, we're only running 20 steps. We're not running, normal stable diffusion runs 50. Make an unwoke prompt. I mean, there's no, I didn't add any safety. Wanna come in? Can you press? Goodbye. Hi, Twitchies. Uh, does TinyCorp take contracts related to stable diffusion? Uh, depends what. I mean, TinyCorp needs to make money. Uh, yeah, I, I need I need contracts. If if TinyCorp's not making any money, we're gonna have to shut it down. I don't know what to say. It's gonna go bankrupt. Um. And there has to be demand for this stuff, right? Who out there has a failing AI accelerator company that wants me to make it fast? Uh, as proof that I could make it fast, I did it for OpenPilot. Uh, Qualcomm should just discontinue SNPE and just use TinyGrad. I had to I had to revert a pull request this morning. Someone cleaned up to group norm, but then tiny then it didn't work anymore. Um, don't ask me about fucking crypto, man. I don't care. It's all scam, all right? Oh, there we go. People watching Twitch on their couch highly detailed 4K. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they look creepy. 
<laughs> I know, right? That's hella creepy, bro. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, that was good while it lasted. Um, but yeah, so you can, you can run that in, uh, in Tiny Grand. It's like somewhat fast. Not really. Um, it's just turning into another tiny tour through Tiny Grand. So this in here in MLOps, we go from Tensor to MLOps. MLOps is where we do the derivatives. Uh, you can see that you can implement uh, convolutions as uh, derivatives of, you can implement the derivative of convolution as convolutions. Like you see all this, I worked so hard on this kind of stuff to make it right. Um, but it is, it's all really correct, so it's really good. Okay, then after that we go into lazy. Uh, lazy is still, there's still some work to be done on lazy. Parts of it are still a mess. But lazy is where it will condense uh, things into ASTs. See, these are like some like optimization rules. Um, yeah, this code's kind of a mess. It needs to be cleaned up. You can see that we can have a new size script in TinyGrad. See that lazy is the second largest uh, file. Tensor's large, but tensor's okay. The complexity of tensor is low. If you can't say. Uh, how similar is TinyGrad's compilation to the new PyTorch 2.0? I haven't actually tried PyTorch 2.0. Should we try PyTorch 2.0? I wish. Like, it's kind of annoying. I don't know how to like debug in PyTorch what kernels it's actually launching. Maybe there's a way. Who should use TinyGrad instead of PyTorch? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. TinyGrad's a little, uh, it's a little fat now. It's uh, 1,744 lines. Um, no, but the TinyCorp has to make money. If the TinyCorp doesn't make money, we can't continue it. Wow, 250 primitive operators. Dude, you know how many TinyGrad has? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. TinyGrad has 15. These aren't real operators. Uh, and that one is optional. What is Torch Inductor? Hmm. Can TinyGrad auto diff through XM? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, so that code's here. Uh, this is the derivative of X, right? The derivative of x is just a multiplier.
Graph acquisition was the harder challenge when building a PyTorch compiler. In the past five years, we've picked Torch JIT Trace. Can we read the code for uh, called the Frame Evaluation API? See, this stuff's crazy. This stuff's so complicated. But that's cool. It's a Pythonic. We should, let's read Torch and Doctor. This might just be a better way to just look at this. Is Torch and Doctor in here? What is zygote? Looks like calculus. No, this is not the end of Tiny Grad. I still think I can make it faster. Writing a backend for PyTorch is challenging. PyTorch has 1,200 operators. PrimOps with about 250 operators. Like that's, that's a crazy amount. For Tiny Grad, you really only have to write one. Sorry, this is turning into another reading. Like we're just thinking about what we're doing. Um, so you can see, I was also yeah looking at this this morning. This is a run of, uh, it's training for an efficient net. So you can see the inference is all pretty fast. The first kernel that's absurdly slow is this one. I think it's a reduced kernel for the weights. Uh, I don't exactly understand the dimensionality of it, but uh, we can take a look into that. It's turned into an enterprise lib. I mean, these things sound cool. Like the question is just, do they work? What's fully sharded data parallel? It's also in main tree in PyTorch, Torch, and Doctor. All right, let's see. Torch conductor. Here we go. All right, cool. Um, 
Triton template kernel. Wait, they're serious? This is how they did it? This is how they did it? Because I was like looking into this. So I, I started very, very briefly uh, a Triton backend. Um, press the dot key on a GitHub repo? What's the dot key? You're trolling me? I'm pressing the period. Where, where is this? There is this key. You have to log in. Never mind. I'm out. Um. Never mind. I'm out. Not logging in. Look, I bought an AirTag. Redirects to github.dev slash repo name. Hmm, setting, never mind. I don't like logging into things. Wait, this is actually what they used? They write it to a file? Oh, that's brutal. Wait, they're using SimPy? Oh, this is giving me actually a lot of hope for Tiny Grad if this is how they're doing it. This is unmaintainable. Okay, so instead of using SimPy, I just wrote a symbolic algebra library, just like a little one, to do my shapes. Um, and it's like that long. And like, this is all boilerplate garbage that I'll figure out how to remove. No, but like, like, like this is how this backend works. I don't know. Like, I, I mean, I guess if it works. Okay, uh, let's find PrimTorch. Where's PrimTorch? Torch Prims? I wonder what the list of them is. Mm, okay, so I, I see they do have a whole bunch I don't have. Reduction prims. Why do you need max and min? You don't. Uh, I guess prog can be reduction. We don't have that. Um, we probably need a randomness prim. Yeah, okay, so we, we just outsource this stuff to NumPy, which we probably shouldn't do. Uh, we have some of these. I mean, like, Like we don't have div, we just replace it with reciprocal and multiply. We don't have square root, we just use pow with a constant, it should fold. Um, This is so complicated.
the better GPUs get, the less time gets put into optimizing. I mean, this is a truism about code in general. So a few trade-offs, like you don't actually want to use compile um, and like a tracer, like that's brutal. You want to use, um, you want to use a caching layer. Like I can show you how we dealt with this for the open pilot model. Here's my compiler here. So we just, I, this code needs to be cleaned up, but um, what this realize does is it like, okay, it runs it, it clears the cache, and then it realizes it down here. And this realize captures the entire, uh, the entire run. Like, okay, we queue it all up, we set up caching, and then we have the cache, and that's the number of kernels. Uh, so that's the beauty of kind of, like, I feel like PyTorch has put this stuff in too many places and has too many different backends. And once you have different backends that are launching things, it doesn't work anymore. Like, oh, this is brutal. Remove this once. How does anyone work? Do they have like insanely good tests? Uh, Is MPS for ANE or metal? Uh, MPS uses uh, metal, it's on the GPU. Uh, though like MPS is really broken. L look at this. So I, I, I just tried this this morning. Um, so this is like test ops. Uh, so you can see that's using the CPU. So we, we can use torch, we can say torch equals one. Um, so I added support briefly and then I took it out because it doesn't actually work. I should probably leave it in here. Uh, it's like just to show you how brutal it is. Um, so, uh, you can say MPS equals one. Oh no, sorry, I'm not messaged. Probably commit this because because it's just it's crazy how broken it is. So this is to use MPS's torch backend instead of CUDA's, and like I got this this morning. Like half of the ops don't work. Um, what does Apple not add? And this is, this is like MPS. I don't think this is, uh, MPS had limit on buffer size, yeah. You see, if I use, if I do it over here, uh, if I run the torch test over here, it'll actually just silently use CUDA. 
Um, I mean, it's going to be slow to init, but then it's fast. Uh, oh, oh, a oh, fun fact about why this is broken. Um, oh, I should really, uh, what is it? Like MV, yeah, 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 yeah. I got to set that. So that fails. Yeah, now it passes. Um, NVIDIA will silently use TensorFloat 32, and then things aren't precise enough. Um, isn't A and E faster than GPU with metal? Well, sort of. Yes and no. Oh, yeah, you want to see something brutal? So I added CUDA support here. So you see, this is comparing the CPU to Torch's CPU, and then that's kind of even, actually. Um, the GPU should beat it. The GPU beats it on most things. But then if I use CUDA, you just see how absolutely good the CUDA implementation is. That's my GPU implementation versus the CUDA implementation. Um, you see it's hitting 11 teraflops here. The matrix multiplies are all five teraflops and I'm getting like a pathetic number of gigaflops. Though some of this is I think overhead. Uh, is not actually measuring the kernel correctly. What CUDA GPU you got hooked up? This is a 3080 Ti. I'm just in my personal computer right here. Any idea how to start reversing the A&E? Bro, I did the whole thing. The pr Apple locked it down and I gave up. It's like stupid. How important is it having support for these things? I mean, you want your library to be fast. Okay, so this is what I was gonna work on today. That kernel right there is brutally slow. We can look into why. You want to look into why? So we have some tests here. It's called external chest GPU AST. What? Um, oh, the other thing we can do if you guys want to do it is we can, you want to try to get this working in Python 0, uh, Python We got some coffee. Let's decide on today's project. I'm not on a Mac. SSH, bro. It's not a server, it's right there. You guys wanna see it? It's that computer there. It's like my gaming laptop, it's my gaming desktop. Uh, 
So we could try to we could update Python. We can work on debugging this kernel and why it's slow. Or we can work on the Triton port. What do we want? Mm, Python 3.12, I, I, think it's, I think it's time to lose the hat. It's warming up in here. It's working time. Okay, Python 3.12, Triton port. All right, if you guys want Triton, that's just gonna be a lot of struggling. Or we'll figure out why this one's slow. How do I use a poll? Can I quickly do a poll? All right, I'll, wear, I'll get one of those online polls. Online poll. Sign up. All right, type question. What do? All right, slow kernel debug, Python 3.12 upgrade, or Triton port. I'm gonna vote for that one. I don't know how to do polls on Twitch. Mm. New shiny kernel debugger with tracing logger. My debugger's already pretty good. This is, this is pretty good. I can show you how we can like isolate a kernel and I have some other stuff. I can show you all the debugging stuff if that one gets chosen. All right, we'll, get, we'll give it another, we'll give it another uh, minute for the poll, but it looks like slow kernel debug is gonna win, so that's really gonna be diving into the uh, depths of Tiny Guard. Look how slow it is, 23 milliseconds. Got it. I forgot chicken nuggets. Okay. Uh, last chance to uh, psych the jokes on you. You all voted. You thought you got choice. Manufactured consent. We were going to debug the slow kernel anyway. Didn't matter what the results with this poll was. That's why I rigged it and put it first and showed you my vote. All right, slow kernel debug one. All right, let's go. Okay. Um, so this one's slow. Let's figure out what it is. Uh, I, have, I can do AST print equals one. No, it's print AST equals one. Is that gonna print the ASTs in the right place? Is that really print AST is gonna Okay. Um, let's first get the name of that slow kernel again. So the slow kernel is named re s three thirty two. Okay, should have run. What? What? Uh, I'm gonna say count it as two. You know what? Let's just let's let's modify the debugging to make it good. Uh, where's print ast? If print AST uh, equals equals one, or print AST equals equals k dot function name. Okay, let's make sure that behavior still works. Print AST equals one works. Make sure print AST equals zero still works. That's good. 
That's the name of the slope kernel. Let's say print AST equals that name. Sweet. So you can see here it printed the AST. All right, good. This is a simple AST, which is nice. Uh, now we can add this over to my AST debugging. Um, this is in test, external test GPU AST. These are just a few kernels. Uh, test, uh, enact, reduce. What is it, the batch size? So it's a big batch size I used. Uh, BS32. So this auto generates the code that actually runs the AST. So we can go in here like that. Now we can run that test with test external GPU AST. Uh, what I name the test, test AST. Okay, uh, and all the same debugging stuff still works. So we can see how it's brutally slow right here. Look how slow it is. These are just the copy out swizzles. If we do debug equals four, it'll actually print the kernel and show me what went into thinking about it. Um, do I know why it printed? Oh, these are the other kernels. Okay, that's fine. All right. So a few things to notice about it. What is this first three? It also has a valid, which just looks kind of slow. We can make this a little faster by adding a distributive rule to the symbolic library. I mean, it probably isn't going to change too much, but... You know what I mean? Like, we can distribute that 224 over those things. Or should we just leave things like that to LLVM? Um, all right, so you see it increments that. That's pretty good. This is also a relatively small number, and these loops are large, which kind of sucks. Probably what we want to do is we want to take this last, we want to take this 112, um, and we want to, uh, what are these? Okay, that's the batch size. That's the height and width of the kernel. But what is this? Was oh, that the channels? Oh, that might be the channels. Okay. And you can also see this terrible brutality right there. I think if there's a better way to write that. Like this is actually being a nine, and then not doing that. And it's padded, so it has to do this. Okay, it's a little larger, are you happy? I think there's a very interesting thing to note here. I don't exactly understand how that's two. Oh, maybe because it's a strided comp. But either way, um, what you want to do is you want to coalesce your memory accesses. And you can see here that memory accesses are very non-coalesced. 
So we're striding across these dimensions, and these dimensions, except for this, have really big, uh, have either a ton of reuse or really big stuff. What we want to do is we want to take this loop, um, and we want to turn that loop into a local dimension. Like that would be fast if we did that. It'd be like across that stride, we're doing it to so local dimension. Oh, that'd be so fast. Okay. All right, let's hack it. So this is where we split the uh, kernels. This is being violated here because self-reduce is not that. There might not be a way to do this easily. Okay, the problem is OpenCL only allows you to have three uh, dimensions. And you can see that the dimensions are already being used. So we can combine the dimensions together. Sure. Okay. If self dot first reduce equals four and self dot shape length equals seven, uh, right here. Okay. So it only prints it for that top kernel. Um, if we did want to combine those, this is where the uh, output shapes here are actually being generated. We'd have to do something like max output shape. What I expect to happen now is we're going to free up a space for an output shape if I set self.max output shape to 2 here. Mm, did not work. Okay. Why is that still being called IDX2? It shouldn't be. Oh, this. Um. Probably because this also has to be self dot alpha shape. Hmm. No, these are backwards. And why is that IDX two? Yeah, yeah, this can't be IDX two. That has to be IDX one. Uh, yeah. Kind of ugly and clean it up later. Okay. So
So this kernel is actually slower. It now takes 29 milliseconds instead of 23, which is just brutal. But you can see now we've at least freed up an output shape and the answer is still correct. Okay, now with the output shape we've freed up, we can merge this kernel. Did you guys follow that? I feel like some of the tiny grad stuff is just really uh, esoteric. Yeah, you didn't even follow it. All right. Um, so we, we've combined the reduce. We just merged basically the first two axes of the kernel. Uh, and now let's try a group for reduce. Let's see if we can group for reduce that. I don't know if this is going to work. Invalid command queue. Well, that's a new one. Is there some reason like that's not allowed? Unless we're following. All right, cool. Uh, but we're trying to, you'll see, you'll see like in this next step if this actually works. I have no idea what, what this means. I think we have to add it to output shape. I, I really didn't write this stuff well, and it's probably going to require some some thinking uh, off stream to really solve it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's being added to output shape, which which is good. Yeah. No. See. Okay, that max output shape stuff's wrong. The problem is you don't want to compact that dimension. It is being added to output shape, but it's the wrong dimension added to output shape. Uh, I think I can actually also fix this by, where do I do this debug is for thing? I should probably just go up top here before you run the kernel. That way you can see the program. That's good. Okay. Yeah, so you see the problem? This this 112 dimension didn't go where I wanted it to go. That 112 dimension got added to the end. Oh, that's wrong. Um I want to change this whole logic around. Instead of the max output shape thing, we might just want to compact the other dimension. We want to compact like these dimensions instead of these dimensions. That actually might be a universal win. So let's go and see if we can implement that, right? So this whole problem is being caused because OpenCL only supports uh, three dimensions. And we have to do some like compacting logic, like just like you can read that and see like where this compacting logic, okay. So let's get rid of that stuff we wrote with, with uh, max output shape, because that's stupid. Max output shape is always three. Length is greater than three. Um, let's not even, let's just first fix it without doing this group for reduce crap. Right, no attribute max output shape, that's fine. Uh, we'll change this, but I, this shouldn't actually be.
we're back to working. The problem is I don't actually want to compact this dimension because this is dimension zero. I want to compact dimension two. So in order to do that, we just need to reverse this. Uh, Rod self dot output shape zero to minus two. How is this ever right? Oh, oh that's fine. This, okay, it's only greater than three. Okay. Self dot output shape minus two, and that'd be minus two minus one. That's right. Okay. Now instead of subtracting it from IDX two, we take it from IDX zero. Is that right? Try that. Okay, we're back to invalid command queue garbage. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't know what that error means. Uh, but okay, so. So that should have combined those two dimensions. That looks right. What? Why is it a valid command queue? It doesn't even make sense. This must be some like weird CUDA error. B3, 396. Oh, is this some like reason, is some like I can't do that or something? Oh, max work item sizes. Oh, fuck that. Wow, this is all just stuff I didn't think about. Hmm. Really? And that's the error that it throws? The invalid command queue error. Okay, so the problem is this 96 is going here. Oh, and it only allows 64. That's terrible. Okay, well, there's one more we didn't do, and it's the middle one. So should we do the middle one? Let's do the middle one. No, oh, I hate that. This is terrible. So I'm trying to like break out this dimension. We could combine those two into one, but then the problem is when I add the new, when I add the new thing, that's part of output shape. Um, I mean, really, this should read the, uh, I 
Maybe you should read the max sizes. Hmm. Okay, here's an idea. What if I just ignore it? What if I do the, what if I do the reduce anyway? What's gonna happen? Okay, we get invalid command cube. I don't know why, that should be a valid shape. It's a valid shape, right? Oh, max work group size. So this can't even be larger than one or two four. No, those are max. Those are work items. I don't get it. Like this shouldn't be a problem globally, should it? Do any of them have bigger things than this? Some of them have much bigger things than that. Okay, that shouldn't be the problem. This should be fine. That other thing I did should be fine. That, that, that shouldn't be a problem. I was wrong about what that max work item size means. We should be able to put it at the end. Okay, we, we need to understand that error better. Um... Back to invalid command queue. looking valid to me. Let's Google what max work item sizes means. For a limit, 16 work groups. be happy no never mind I mean this is wrong it might just be crashing this this code is wrong okay let's fix the code it's wrong you see where it's wrong uh where is this
Still wrong. Yeah, okay. This just isn't right anymore. Okay. Let's try something else. See what I have to write. Should we sit and think about this or should we just keep spam programming? We want it to go from length output shape. Refactor it. Go try Copilot. Go go try Copilot and see what it says. These tools are so. Do, do you want an eighty-one IQ person refactor? You know what? You're you're the reason we're going subscriber only. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um. Copilot would fix it for you. Uh. Now I see why this stuff's confusing. I see why this stuff's kind of confusing to write. You, you see what I'm trying to write? Like it, it, com it combines the dimensions into the first dimension. That's what this does. So this is actually correct, but everything else is wrong. Uh, is this even like what I want? No, it's not, because part of it's a little confusing because the output shape is reversed from, uh, like, when I when I add the, the group for reduce, it adds it at the end. How I compact the dimensions probably matters, though, too. Like it's, it has to be, like, right justified instead of left justified. Does that make sense? This is frustrating.
let's think about what we want to do. And let's write it in a comment. And then, okay. So output shape sub minus one is get global ID zero. That's always true. Oh, I guess, okay, that's interesting. Those are universally true. So maybe we just write that explicitly and stop trying to be clever. Okay. Int idx sub length self output shape minus one equals get global ID zero. And now we can throw this in. This one, we know this one happens to be true as well. I'm writing it just stupid style. The last one, it's more confusing. Output shape sub minus three is get global ID two. Sometimes there is more dimensions. Okay, we have to just take them, we have to take them from this guy. want to go from that uh, to minus one minus one that won't actually go to minus one will it I just actually want to go to zero okay and then uh, final dimension Correct and faster. Oh, that's what I like to see. Uh, hang on, let me just put some returns in here. We can definitely write that as a loop, not like uh, stupid. Good. It's faster and better. My favorite. Write this less stupidly. Uh, or I in range uh, self dot length self dot output shape. And then this can be I, and then this can. 
can be uh, minus one minus i, and then this is length alpha shape minus i. Wrong. Uh, oh, for range uh, max three, or do I want to do min? I want to do min. Okay, that is false. Okay, let's go on the tests. GPU equals two, uh, GPU equals one, test stops. It's slow because it's compiling. So you'll see if I run it a second time, it's actually very fast. Test pass, let's go. Okay, great. We can delete that garbage. And look, it's already faster. Wait, let's see how much faster it is overall. Um, I done three examples. Benchmark, right? Efficient magic equals zero. Equals two. Okay. So this was getting 375 before. Let's see what we get now. No, no, that's not right. Uh, we have to say train equals one backwards. Equals one. Much, it's gonna be slower. Oh, 281. Okay, great. Oh, 250. Oh, what an improvement. Okay, we've already made an improvement. We didn't even have to do any local stuff. Love it. I mean, this, this made more sense in, in the first place anyway. So uh, let's just remove that. Let's see if that looks reasonable. Okay, remove that there, that's good. Uh, we flip that to that. Test will pass, okay. Uh, flip. Output shape extra dimension index and floor speed. This made a lot more sense anyway. I don't know why I didn't do it like that in the first place. Um, so now, like, yeah, just just look at the code. It looks better. You guys can watch the test and let me know if I broke them. Okay, um, let's put that hack back in because we're gonna use it. All right, what happens if I do a reduce? Uh, we're getting 18 milliseconds now. We're down from 23 to 18. Oh, okay, we have an invalid command value now. That's fine, that's fine. Again, we don't really know what that means. Shoving one more dimension into the output, which is right. This loop should go away. Oh. Why does it think first reduce is five? It's not five, it's four. What changed first reduce?
shape one is 81. Okay, it must be what I'm doing in group reduce. Oh, this is adding a new one. Okay, that adds one to first reduce, but it should permute it so that that's over there. The permute is just wrong here. because it's not first reduced, so that's actually wrong. Interesting. Um, yeah, it should be able to group any of them, but it can't because I didn't write it like that. I wrote it to only be first reduced. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Group for reduce access equals, in this case, it's uh, zero, one, two, no, it's not. I think it's six. Good, this is forcing me to rethink about this. Um, range, reduce access, this is self-group reduce access. One, uh, that's that, and then we have a reshape and permute. You see what's creating the second stage down here? This is still wrong. What? I must have hit the wrong axis. Okay, it must not be six. Oh, seven? We're guessing. Wrong. Okay, there's another way to do this, which is to move the axis there. Maybe that's what I want to do. We can move it to first reduce. And then this won't be a problem. Okay, the problem is that this is the wrong, it's, it's doing it on the 32 not on the 112, yet somehow it's still getting 112 there. I don't know what that's get, but okay. We'll move it to first for reduce. It's also creating a new stupid one because we're not simplifying afterward, which we should be. Uh, you know what, let's not say 112. Let's say uh, 112 over two. So we see stuff more clearly, okay. Um, we have to move the 112 to the first reduce axis. Let's do that. Uh, self dot reshape and permute none. I'm oh, just gonna hand code this. Zero, one, two, three, six, four, five. That's not right. Oh, okay. 
Unfortunately, it still has this 112 here, which it, oh, it's the other 112. Well, that's it. 1.3 milliseconds. We did it. Cool. Uh, I can group reduce there. And then there's a stupid one here. We just need to get rid of that. Okay, that's actually slower. Um, I don't know. Done. There's no real reason that that has to be the outside axis though, is there? Looks like this probably isn't what we want. We probably still want that one on the inside. But then I have to track the axis. Still, 1.3 milliseconds, that's fire. And this is actually gonna test it. The answer is still right. I did test the AST here. Cool. All right, we made it 20 times faster. Uh, now, what's the generic rule for this? This is a big refactor. Like, uh, So if you think about things slightly, if you get these extractions slightly wrong, I need to just write a fuzzer for this whole thing. I need to write something that's just gonna fuzz like all the permutations of the axis and make sure the kernels are still correct. Well, either way, we already got a win committed. Well, let's make sure I didn't break the tests. Sweet, I didn't break the tests. Uh, Okay, um, a quick explanation of what this group for reduce does. So you can take one reduce axis. In this case, it was this 112. This 112 got moved to here and split up to 56 and two. And then the 56 was put implicitly here. And you can see that these loops are 2, 32, 112, 2, 32, 112. The 56 got put down here and now it's doing a second stage reduce. All right. So basically it launches kernels across here. And then this 56 axis here gets really good memory coalescing. You see this IDX4? You see this IDX4 times two? Well, that's almost coalesced. IDX3. So this, this is almost coalesced and this is perfectly coalesced. Um, so memory coalescing is when, if your if you're kernels that you're, okay. So this here is called a local work group. That means that this code is executing 56 times in parallel, right? Um, and with these IDX4s here, it's loading the memory that looks like this, 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 this. And because all those memories are sequential, that's one access to the memory. Uh, and that's why it's 20 times faster. And I don't know what the automatic rule for this is. It's probably wrong sometime too, which is even more brutal. Nah, this all still needs to be refactored. Man, it's so hard to write this stuff.
now you see it's 1.3 milliseconds and now it's 18 milliseconds. Um, and this is without any of that grouping. But it's still better than the 23 we were getting before when I was doing the axes in a different order. I don't know. Should we just try to put this all in Triton? Triton should deal with stuff like this for me. It doesn't. Comment where future perf should go. So there's another sort of theory. The other theory is that I shouldn't waste time trying to do any of this by hand. And we have a way to benchmark the kernels. We have a search space, right? Like these reshape for permutes are a search space. A lot of these, this stuff here is, um, is hand-coded stuff for the, uh, it's hand-coded stuff for, to make the uh, open pilot kernels fast. So all, well, group for reduce is something special, but like all this kind of, all those lines could be replaced by search. So I really shouldn't spend too much time on this, but it's good to know that that could be fast. Um, this new change is good. This new change is good because now it allows, we had a problem before where we couldn't allow grouping if we had more than uh, three axes, but now we can. So we fixed a bug. Two hundred fifty one milliseconds. I actually worry that that other change made the other stuff slower. You know, the overall thing's faster. Yeah, I watched Carpathy's latest video. No, that's not the Triton I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I mean, even... This should be searchable. I kind of feel like the only way we're going to make tiny grad fast is if we be very careful with the correctness of everything. And then, so why not start search now? We could implement search. Uh, could we, could we implement search? Just a small part of it. Yeah. That's the only way this is ever gonna be good. We have to make all these things hittable with search and we have to fix the bugs in group for reduce. We have the power of friendship. No, like this is really hard. Like it's gonna take me a week to write search. And there's another problem. Oh, I have a bounty. Uh, if anyone wants to make 50 bucks. Uh, so the pro on OS X, these kernel profiling things don't work. Uh, it returns times that are just obviously not correct. So on OS X, we have to like check, I just did like time outside the kernel instead of using the profiler. 
But if someone figures out how to fix this, I'll pay Pelly fifty dollars. Like there's probably some like secret flag somewhere. Is search used for optimizing kernel commands? No, we're using no search. The only thing we have that kind of looks like search is we have this thing here, the local workgroup optimizer. No, this is never gonna be good if we don't use search. All right, we'll add a comment here. Stop wasting time with doing this by hand. Search is the, kernel search is the only way it will ever be good. Yeah, so in order for search, we just need to like make sure it's really correct. Wow, we wasted so much time doing these things by hand. Because like, this is the whole, the whole kernel gen is actually small. Can I explain why it'll take a week to write search? Yeah. I don't really know how to like approach it yet. Like, okay. So the, the basics of whenever I, I, I know, I mean, like the search should actually be less lines than my hand coded stuff for OpenPilot and it should be faster as well. And that's how you know you're winning, right? If you make something faster, but you spend lines, you don't know if you're winning. But if you make something faster and you use less lines, you're winning. This is a strict game. So whenever you are writing search, um, whenever you're writing a search, you, you talk about two things. You talk about the space and your algorithm for traversing the space. Uh, so the space is pretty well defined. with reshapes and permutes. So this is doing what looks like a split. And then you have constraints. Okay, we have to generate the non-permuted version of this. We should probably fix that bug first. So I mean, like you, you have to fix all the bugs. Like first you simplify the code. Like, okay, so you can redefine this as a 
split and isolate operation. Do you want to do that? A grease shape and permute a really large space. Those all become splits and isolates. See that I have the same copy and paste of code in three places. Uh, then we have upcast. Like, so upcast doesn't have to drop the last dimension. In theory, it can drop any dimension. What does split and isolate do? Okay, so like you read this code here. Uh, this is reshape and permute, right? Those are normal operations. So it's taking the axis called EB valid and it's splitting it into EB valid divided by four and an axis with four. Uh, if the axis is uh, in non-reduce, if it's in if it's if it's in the non-reduce, it just splits it into two ones. Um, then it will put this four at the end. And then this will upcast the latest demand. This will upcast the last dimension, which will like convert the four into float force. Um, at least I like I did a good job with this. I did a good job with uh, defining this sort of stuff. I mean, it, it looks actually a lot like what uh, LVM does. But uh, if we look here in AST, I, I wrote this class called token, and token can create. Uh, like floats and float fours, and then you can have arrays as well. This is real struggle. This is real struggle. Do group for reduce here. This is also a Reshape and permute. All right, should, should we should we write should we write search? Uh, uh. So basically, there's an AST which defines the compute. Um, like you, we can look, this one's, this one's pretty good because it's pretty simple. Uh, we can look like this is the AST that defines the compute, right? So you have, um, that's a little bit complicated, but uh, you have buffer zero and buffer one. This happens to be like the input. This is the weights. Uh, and then you have these views into them. Um, so like, it, it's all kind of like permuted around. Uh, then we have an operation where we're doing a multiply, a sum, and then a final reshape to get rid of these ones. Right. So that's this is the this is the AST that kind of defines a uh, a convolution. Well, actually, this is a reverse convolution, but but it is a convolution. Um, it's simple, right? Like this is. So you can see this is the first open pilot convolution here. This includes things like biases. Um, these are very complicated things that are actually just ones. Uh, and this is a LU here. Like it's simple. Um, this is this is like basically all just defining an LU. Uh, well, that's a lot of code for an LU, but like it's fine. It makes it fast. Um, this here is a bias. And this is that convolution. I'm happy I wrote this. I, 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 I'm happy I wrote this, uh, this test AST. These ASTs look nice. Ooh, 
I'm not procrastinating, I'm thinking. I got some very simple convolution. Mm. First off, I can't have any more coffee. I'm done with coffee today. I'm already jittery. I'm going to get rid of the coffee. The coffee's got to go. Curve Dell. Delivery quality service. Delivery quality service? That's not even a word. Can I explain the search space? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a good thing to think about. The search space is, sure food, sure food. Some of this stuff's just expressed wrong. Don't get me started on meatballs. First thing is just generating random but correct kernels. Yeah, that's right. Should we look at like the first convolution here? Let's look at this convolution. Uh, print text. Not one, no, no, don't do one. All right, so this is like the first convolution in Oh, that's really like the purest form of a convolution. You think that's pretty good. Uh, what are the two axes being combined? Oh, I guess the batch and the channels. Okay, the batch and the channels are combined here, and this is the X and the Y. Uh, is there some way to traverse the search space intelligently? Wouldn't that be nice? Um, and then we're looping over the input channels, probably the weights and the heights or something. Yeah, it's probably there yeah, because it's N, C, H, W. So those are H and W. Or should we just try to put this stuff in try? I mean, I'm trying to think of like when the right time to do try this. Okay, so like, uh, let me show you some things that retain the correctness of the thing. So if I do something like reshape and permute, if I permute like, if I permute like anything, it should just still be correct. Right, so that, that's a null permute, so I'll show you the null permute. But okay, so let's permute, let's put this one up here. Uh, let's switch like, let's just go like this. So if I go like, right? So now the kernel looks completely different. 
And oh my God, it's way faster. Okay, see like this, <laughs> I just tried something random and it now takes 800. All right, all right, all right, you wanna search? Oh no, wait, never mind. It's way slower. <laughs> it was way slower. Never mind. It's this 116 versus 802. Oh, and then that's brutal. Look at that. Yeah, this is like why this is never going to be good if you don't search because it's 21 milliseconds. Okay. Um, all right, range seven, uh, order, random dot shovel, order, print order, self reshape and permute order. All right, you wanna search? Let's go. Random is not defined, and I spelled shuffle wrong. What? Oh, stupid Python. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, there's the first restriction we have to put on it. You can't shuffle, you can shuffle the reduce axes within themselves and then the non-reduce axes within themselves. Um, Okay, uh, it's okay, you want, you want, you want to just do pairwise? Yeah, we can do pairwise. But, I mean, let's just see if the whole space works. Okay. It did something. 200. Uh... CD bug equals two. All right, now let's go into the test here. And let's call this and compile and test AST. Run this ten times. Okay. Cool. We did some search, boys. Uh, that one's fast. <laughs> no, 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 no. That time. That's not the time issue. The problem's in OpenCL. Okay. So look. That one's fast. Well, oh, that was cool. Okay, okay, look, we made some progress on search already. What a deal. Uh, let me move myself to the corner. We gotta order some Uber Eats, guys. Uh, no, and it's actually not true about that order inner and order outer stuff. That's a really naive way of doing it. Um, Permuting is messy, profiling is messier. Well, the profiling is pretty good, actually.
This is the fastest one. Still only getting, okay. Um, with pairwise search, if there's a bug, just don't accept it. Okay. All right, let's first off, let's not put this in here. Let's put this in an example so we can actually commit it. Uh, it's an example, maybe an extra. Kernel search dot pi. Let's not spam this crap everywhere. Uh, that's good. Oh, what, what am I doing? What's the command VS code to just slice all the lines? Mac command K command X it worked. Yeah, command X. What a deal. Okay. Um. Get rid of this. Oh, did I get rid of white space there? Yeah, that's a good deal. I'm not going to import random into my beautiful. Go here. Let's just move this here. We don't actually know if those are correct. Um, okay, search st, F search st. I'm going to add into AST if I already ran process. Why don't I just always do process right away? It's like save compute or something. That's terrible. I don't care about that. We can take it out of code gen. That should actually belong here. And it gets 115 with 117 with no permute. Um, God, I put the permute stuff here. Uh, so not self, it's k.reshape and permute. 
for i in range 20. Uh, okay, then from the test, we want to call cogen and test. I do search space. Self dot first reduce oh, I don't have a first reduce. Um just plug it properly. Oh no, I get it. Uh test AST is not fine. I should do that, I don't care. Good. We actually did manage to find something a little faster. Okay, so that's the baseline. And this one's faster. Tiny bit. Okay, now pairwise descent. <laughs> well, we haven't actually, yeah, okay. We, I, yeah, we could, we could define the operations and try things and yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic search shit, man. Comp sci 101. Oh, that's sort of food. We need food. Uh, Uber Eats. Is there any Uber Eats that? You can also go to comma for food. It's always an option. All right, what do we want? Main chick hot chicken? Fuku sushi? We could have sushi. That seems like a good lightweight thing for writing search. Do they have a chirashi bowl? Who ever wants a chirashi bowl? I want a teriyaki bowl, I want a chirashi bowl. Entrees. Ooh, an America burger. It's actually called an America burger. Oh, poke balls. Oh, here we go. Sushi balls, fuku bowl. Diced tuna, salmon, yellowtail, shrimp, cucumber, avocado, and ponzu sauce. I assume it includes rice too. Okay, that sounds good. Desserts. You order beer? Um, I feel like I'm still gonna be hungry after I eat that. But I don't wanna get a whole nother like bowl. I don't know what else. Should we get an America burger too? America burgers are cheap. Two rolls of avocado roll. Crab mix, I'm suspicious. Maybe we'll get some eel nigiri too. Nine dollars? I mean, it's nine dollars, guys. What? The tiny corp isn't making any money. I can't afford this. Should I just go out to dinner? Well, well, you guys be upset if I go out to lunch. Will you guys be upset if I leave you and go out to lunch? Oh, very upset. Oh, like it's gonna be like sad sushi. Oh, I could walk down the street, get some good Mexican. I kind of feel like I'm doing that. Um, stream walking to In and Out. Wow, look, some of them get really slow. Look, that one's really slow. Oh, whoa, wait, it found an even faster one. 
Okay, how do I search all the pasta? How do I search all the permutations of this space? Here's some lunch money, thank you. Uh, street streams. No, 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 what the hell many people we got? 677, all right. All right, guys, I'm gonna go to lunch. Uh, thank you, Chronix, thank you. I'm gonna go to lunch and I'm gonna spend your money on lunch. Um, you know, the Tiny Corp provide what the Tiny Corp? No, the Tiny Corp doesn't have lunch. If you come work at the Tiny Corp, yeah, you have lunch. But, uh, yeah, but we gotta just make this search work. I'm wasting so much time, like, trying to write this shit by hand. Tiny Corp has the Mexican restaurant down the street. We go there and we get a bomb ass burrito for lunch. Oh. What's the minimum price Tiny Corp does for guys? I need to make money. All right, let's move chat over here and talk about how Tiny Corp's gonna make money. But how cool is that that we can actually just do that? Let's commit this. Oh, let me try to write anything else bad. First little. Also, probably test the accuracy each time. Just throw that in there and make sure we don't actually break anything. Sell Tiny Corp? Who are we selling Tiny Corp to? Guys, I don't want to be owned by banks, okay? I hate banks. Good, it seems correct every time. Wow, look, it already found something faster. That's crazy. We didn't even start doing upcasts and stuff. Oh man, all right. We should have done search a while ago. R Ritter, thank you for gifting subs. Sell Tiny Grad merch. Yeah, should we get Alex to design some tiny grad march? Guys, we gotta make money. How beautiful is this though? Like that we've written something that can actually search like that and it all works. Stuff repeatable. Make sure it's repeatable. That one's pretty repeatable. I mean, you can see what the difference is. But actually, none of them are really faster. The top one's the fastest. Wow, this one found fast ones. Well, that's significantly faster. Look at that, we're already winning. This is on that reduce kernel that we were trying to make fast. Oh my God, you, you just can't do anything by hand. You just have to use search for everything. Oh, look, look, that one's so fast. Look at that one. Oh, search is the way. A Ritter, thank you, thank you. Um, minimum contract price for Tiny Corp. I don't know, propose something. Kama said they'd give me 25K if I get quantization in the Qualcomm DSP to work. Uh, it seems like not much money. Uh, also, we're not actually gonna charge Kama money, but, wow, it's a new hole in that shirt. Uh, 25k, yeah, we can afford it. You only gear. No, comma, tiny group doesn't make money. 
Okay, so what you should really write here is who's ever been suggesting pairwise descent is right, right? Like you should flip one of these, see if it improves things. So why don't I find the optimum instead of just randomizing? Well, because my search space isn't complete enough. So remember how when we use the, uh, that, that group for reduce? Okay, so I'll write like um, to do support uh, upcasting and local grouping. Upcasting, splitting, and local grouping. So, like, yeah, I could find the optimum here, but we're still not close to what the optimum could be, man. But I just should have done search a long time ago. First do the pairwise to limit search space. I'm not that interested in that. You can write that if you want. You, you can write that. I mean, you see how to do it. Uh, you write the pairwise thing. It's, it's easy. Uh, well, hang on. Uh, let me make sure. Uh, So that's how you can get the time externally. Um, IOS Silver. All right, fine, fine, fine. In honor of IOS Silver, let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, Inclusive or exclusive in Python? I don't remember. So if it fails, uh, 
then we reject. Catch that exception. Raise E, that should be fine. I'm oh, gonna should be okay. I'll write it manually. This errors generated, I can't turn off. Okay. If CL dot time sum less than best time, uh, best time equals CL time sum. Is this what you mean by pairwise? This is this what you want? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I wish it didn't print this stupid errors generated thing. I mean, we should probably reject that somewhere higher level anyway. It shouldn't actually get to the compiler. I bet you it's going to stand it out. You happy? How long does it find the best one? Pretty good, right? 5.4 milliseconds. All right, so of course this search is greedy, you know, all the problems with searches, blah, 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 blah. 
Um, can you optimize every op in isolation? You can totally optimize every op in isolation. So the way that this is defined is like, if the AST is correct, the whole thing's correct. All right, so sometime it finds the best one. I mean, obviously we can replace this with a much, uh, much fancier search algorithm. I don't know, I'm kind of unimpressed by this. I kind of liked my other one better. <laughs> Now I gotta use a star. Don't I need a heuristic function for that? I don't even know. I need a heuristic function. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how many pairs are there? I need, no, you need one heuristic function. Uh, you now have a small branching tree, but at least, okay. I mean, the cool thing is actually, if I write this pretty well, uh, this is like, this is accessible to people. Oh, I can't believe I wasted time trying to do this by hand. I'm going to go like, see if I can get it to rediscover all the other optimizations. Uh, like simulated annealing, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do tons of different searches. My point is, this search space isn't defining uh, here. Like, this is just one possible intervention. We can also do upcasting, we can do splitting, we can do local grouping. Um, much more so than like how we're doing the search algorithm. Let's see how this works on... See how this works on the Mac, where I don't have uh, cool. I mean, it goes from fifty five milliseconds down to thirty six. Does it find a different order too, which is even crazier? Uh, no, 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 we're getting food. Don't worry, I didn't forget how hungry I am. Um, wild. All right, we should have done search way sooner. It's important to have a small number of interventions. Yeah, I, I think that there's still a much bigger space than uh, is being expressed right now. Uh, and we need to, we need, we need something more expressive. And then there, there's lots of stuff we can do for every transformation. I mean, okay, that, that, that other thing is kind of universal. So I, I can just write it. Like we can just say, um,
Oh. Put that on the wrong computer. Whatever. We'll do it over here. Add more stuff. We gotta eat first. We gotta eat first, and this is the only transformation I'm really like. Uh, I'm really like confident. I still like how fast this is. Will it still take a week? Yes. In order to make it like actually good and ship it and replace things. No, no, no. I mean, this was kind of, this was encouraging how fast that was actually. I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. So there's all sorts of other things we can do, like splits and upcasts. All right, should we try an upcast? this and in, in, in some other thing you can do that yeah am I just making a locally optimal decision yeah all right what I need like a little like framework for this Shape must be ints and can't contain zero. Um, okay, we should try a... So this one actually got upcasted and it got slower. Funny how much more complex Google's optimizer is. Yeah, I know, because they wrote really complex libraries. And when you write really complex libraries, you get really complex stuff. Exiting? 
do wrong. Uh, test, accept exception, continue. Wrong. Why, why is this not? Um, down local. Wow. Now we want to allow upcasting and permuting. Oh, this is a nightmare. We have to like save the operations that were done. Oh. Oh, because I'm printing the exceptions. Casting seems to always make it work on CUDA. But yeah, you can do this upcast multiple times. Um Wow, do we actually want do we want to start running this on? Do we want to start running? Oh my god, we can make open pilot maybe twice as fast. Why don't I do this sooner? So that's splitting. By the way, we actually don't have to, we could not opcast. It's gotta be some like framework to put search in, right? Do I really have to write this? Why don't I do that again? Oh, because now there's one more dimension. Oh. No, this isn't the framework. How does it magically find that one? <laughs> when it never sees that. This is upcasting. Upcasting doesn't have to be four either. Upcasting can be more than four. Um, we can also do padding with upcasting. I think that's actually most things. Oh, no, 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 because we have to support splitting because this is splitting. Oh, we're still really not supporting group for reduce. Oh, if we started supporting group for reduce, oh, that would just be fire.
be awake. So you know what I mean by a framework, right? So I should like, I should just put these interventions in a, in like a, in like a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a thing, this is a thing. We keep track of all the things we did instead of stupid new order. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Mm. This is definitely an after lunch thing. <laughs> I'm glad we wrote some search. I can't, I can't believe how much time I wasted writing this stuff by hand. Search is dead simple. Am I coming back after lunch? No, I think you guys only get the morning at the Tiny Corp. That's pretty good progress though. Make it faster than CUDA? Uh, nothing's faster than CUDA. Yeah, we almost got a 2x speed up there. What about the speed of light? Yo, faster than the speed of light, man. No, we have to, okay, I have to really clean up the group for reduced code and think about what all the group for reduced code is. Um, oh, maybe upcasting is useful on the Mac. Let's see if upcasting is useful on the Mac. Some of them get really slow. Oh, no, I'm changing the wrong thing. Uh, here. So what upcasting does is it converts it to like a float, uh, flow four. Whoa, look, it hit some faster ones. But we didn't save that permutation. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Get permutation, apply permutation. Mm. <laughs> uh, get permutation. Is this, is this what you guys want to see? Is this what you guys want to see? You want to see, you want to see this content? Mm, okay. Get. get intervention, 
Okay. Okay. Um, I just want to randomly choose three things. Uh, okay. Type. Uh, I could probably put this in a framework and make it nicer. If type is zero, then we're going to do a pair. Turn zero, a one, a two. Uh, LF type is one. We're going to get an up axis. Uh, return one up axis. Uh, apply intervention. Okay, uh, and then that that equals zero. We want to do Each time we want to get a random intervention, we'll call it inter. Um, I don't get it. Some of those should be winning. Oh, probably because this isn't right. Oh, I should do non local. Good. Uh, okay, so best winning interventions.
Wow, okay. It finds an upcast. 28 milliseconds. Pretty good, right? Is that the content you all wanted? There, we did proper stuff. Um, swap axes. Uh, upcast. That'd be better. Am I on the wrong computer or something? No. I didn't think there'd be any more issues. Also, there should be printing exceptions. I don't get why it's not. computer again. Why isn't it printing the exception? Why is traceback print exception? Oh, because I redirected. Uh, shapes must be instant, cannot contain zero. Okay, that's fine. Kernel object has no attribute shape. Oh. Values mismatch. I don't know about that. Oh, we also want to test the AST at the end. The test passes. Cool, bros. All right, you want me to write it in normal, normal.
Pretty good. Not sure I didn't ask. Tiny corp. How much we improve the big comp? Six point five one X, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy much. And this is the dumbest search thing I've ever written. All right, let's let me add one more thing. All right, this doesn't actually have to be four. fast is that? So fast. Oh, I think these also might be wrong. No. I get 0. 0.38? How come that one's so fast and those aren't? I don't know. But we can also select a mount. Yeah. Hey, that computer was thrashing. 3x speed up on that? Yo, look at how fast that kernel is now. We're getting five gigaflops. And the winning inventions, inter interventions do include upcasts. Look at those upcasts. They just were eight upcasts, not four upcasts. this one. Meh. I feel like that used to get faster. Oh, because but now it's taking bad steps with upcasts. Okay, now that's back to what it was. This one does no upcasts. We're not using TensorFlow or PyTorch. Wait, this is super promising. Search 
randomly. <laughs> this search isn't even smart at all. Search has no backtracking. And then we need to figure out how to, like, we need to do big search offline and we need to, like, cache common interventions. And then the search online can be very lightweight and just do a bunch of, uh, Wait, this is, this is fire, guys. Big breakthrough today. Thank you. Thank you for pushing me to write search. Like, I still can't get over it. That's, that's a fire amount of gigaflops. Did stable diffusion? Yeah, stable diffusion is going to be so fast. Well, okay, so now I actually like, okay, this search right now is not actually running on the kernels. We'd have to run the search on the kernels and like that slow. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Well, you know, if I am most silver. I was never, <laughs> I don't know. I was never that good at, uh, at that kind of competition programming. I do want an advent of codes. Uh, I got like the like, top 25 twice in Advent of Code uh, by, but it's a bit, like Advent of Code's not very mathy. It's a lot more thrashing. The ones that get real mathy, I'm not that good at. Um, the one, the, if, if, if stuff can't be solved by thrashing, uh, I'm pretty good. I think I, I did most of did the first page of product, I did 50 problems on Project View. I think that's the first page or something. Um, it's not that I can't do the math ones. I just, other people can do them better. Uh, so I never really won those kind of competitions. I, I was on the Carnegie Mellon uh, competition programming team, but I was always kind of, uh, kind of mid. I wasn't that well. I was close. I was, I was usually on like the second tier team. I was top 10, but I wasn't top five. Uh, whereas for PPP, uh, the CTF stuff, I was, uh, I think undoubtedly the best in the world for like a year. Um, yeah, like the, the, the year of Tom Cruise winning executive side and seesaw, those were, uh, it was a good era for that kind of stuff. It's cool to be the best at something. Uh, you know, then, well, a few things happened. Y yeah, like you age out of it a bit. And yeah, you just don't like, it just becomes less appealing. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure how much of it is you actually age out of it. Like I'm not 24 anymore, I'm not 33. Um, versus it just like, yeah, the problems all started to feel kind of formulaic and I just didn't really have the motivation, like, oh, I'm going to do this again. Nah, let's, let's try to create something new, right? Um, so that's kind of what I got. Yeah, like I wanted to move past. I also, I hate with the, what the, uh, like, Computer security, infosec, bug bounty, garbage. Like, you guys, man, you're not hackers, you know? These people ain't hackers. Infosec has nothing to do with hacking. Infosec is a boring... Per I, saw, I saw a tweet yesterday where someone was like... Uh, I saw someone replied to Kama like, well, like, I have to unfollow this company because I don't like George Hotz. Uh, well, I hate George Hotz, so uh, that's great. Uh, but then like, you look and they're like writing... They're also like, it's the same people. It's the people who showed up and like ruined all the hacker conventions, right? Like, uh, you know, yeah, hacker was, it, it, it was this, it was this like weird subculture and then some combination of, you know, Mark Zuckerberg naming Facebook one hacker way and, and like uh, infosec people. I think they were also like once money got involved, just all got shitty. Um... No, like, it, 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 it reflects a real, like, person out there, right? 
Um, but you know, it's good to, it's good to see like, you know, if people, if people who I respect don't like me, I'm like, oh, I'm doing something wrong. But if like people who are like, well, I actually disagree with everything you say, uh, you don't like me. Oh, good, man. That's how it should be. Like, uh, you know what, what, what? Not, I mean, not everyone's going to like you. That's a, that's, of course that's true. Um, if you try to make everyone like you, you're, 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 there's a bad like place to be, right? If you try to make everyone like you, 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 uh, let's say like, you know, some people love mayo and want mayo in every sandwich or some people hate mayo and don't want mayo, don't want to see mayo ever. Like, like you can't make everyone happy, like by having like a mid opinion, like, like a, like a, like a, oh, well, I don't know. Sometimes I like mayo. Like, no, mayo's fucking terrible. And like, we should do something about it. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. And the absolute biggest losers are like, okay, so first off, anybody who says the word cybersecurity, right? Uh, yeah, let me move me over here. The, the word, the word cyber, <laughs> has the word cyber ever been followed by something good? <laughs> cyber terror, you know, you know, you know, rant about cyber. Um... CSI, cyber, that's right, you can see it, you can see it, right? Uh, no, 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 we don't, we don't need to rant about cyber. All right, you know what, let's uh, let's read comments this week. Um, so you guys have a way, some guy was like, oh yeah, yeah, we have a few comments to respond to, and then we're gonna go to lunch, and then I'm pretty happy, we, we wrote search, and it's already really good. We just actually need to like clean it up and implement it. Uh, I'll, I'll make it find the last thing. Uh, Oh, what shapes use in network should have an effect on the network's function? No, it doesn't. Okay. So what we're doing is if you're permuting, if you're reshaping and permuting within an AST, like this is how this whole thing was designed. It's, imagine um, you have two, or just actually even just two flat vectors and you're adding the numbers and the vectors together and storing them to a third vector, right? So add, 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 add. But it actually doesn't matter what order you do this in. All right, you can add these, then add these, then add these, and then go back and add these, add these, add these. And the final vector is going to be identical in both cases, but you flipped it around, right? Like you've just, you've just changed the order in which you're doing things. Or if you're doing sums, right? Let's say you're, you're, you're adding all the numbers together, right? It doesn't matter if you first add like pairwise this and this, and then add them all or you first add pairwise this and this, and then add them all. Or you're gonna get the same answer in both cases. Um, that's why these searches stay, uh, stay relevant. Stay, say, what's the word? Uh, these searches maintain the property that the kernel is the same. Um, there, there's like names for all this stuff. I like tried to read the papers, but it was hard for me because uh, I'm an idiot. But no, 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 it's like polyhedral computing. Uh, there's algorithms to solve for this, but I don't know, like in general, whenever I see things that look like this, you're better off just writing the simplest implementation you can and then uh, like searching. And I should have done search way sooner. Okay, let's read comments. Uh, when George finds out Shiba have the lowest IQ of, I know about Shiba's, I know about Shiba's. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree with this. No, no more Twitter. Um, yeah, I saw, I saw all your, all your YouTube comment raps. Y'all making ChatGPT a worse rapper. Uh, oh, Cam too big. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, yeah, no, not that. Okay, uh, you need a photonic AI chip. I promise I don't need a photonic AI chip. I do have plans for a comma four and five. Uh, they're outlined on my whiteboard. They're not coming soon, don't worry. Um, the comma four, I want to have uh, enough compute to be a, like a, a dogged inference, right? I, I'd like, I want at least 100 teraflops on the comma four. Um, I want 100 teraflops on the comma four and I want a pay to flop on the comma five, right? Which is a huge, like it, it's way more than what we have right now. Um, so when the good 100 teraflop chip comes out, uh, Jim Keller will save me, maybe. We've discussed it. Um, we discussed it. 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, today, with this search kind of working, I feel better about the Tiny Corp. But sometimes I wonder if I'm just like wasting time with this whole project. But then like we read some PyTorch code and I'm like, this is never going to be fast. Like it might be, but, but it's okay. It's not that it's never going to be fast. It may very well be fast, but it's going to take so many man hours and so much complexity to make it fast. We get 90 teraflops at 500 watts. Yeah, I mean, can't these like Qualcomm chips do it? God, I wish you could just buy Qualcomm chips. Uh, yes, here we go. Did they ever talk about the DSP? Oh, here we go, hexagon here. And this is the Snapdragon Gen 1. It doesn't say it for this. this is on, oh, it's on four nanometer. Oh man, like I'd love to, I'd love to have this chip. Qualcomm, will you sell me this chip? No, you won't. You won't sell me this chip. Just like three X bigger GPU than what we have right now. But then some of these DSP things get huge amounts of, but they're tops, they're not flops. Uh, no, it's not a million units. It's it's honestly it's not a million units. It's not quantity. Um, it's the company. It's they're unbearable. They're they're just someone needs to replace them. You you can't interact with a normal person who can like tell you what the price of a chip is and then you can buy the chip. Like it doesn't work like that. I don't really know how it works. Um, Tiny Corp will buy Qualcomm after the IPO. Let's go. Uh, look, I'm replacing your SNPE garbage and I'm doing it for free, right? Like literally use the, use TinyGrad GPU instead of SNPE. It'll be faster on like almost all neural networks. It supports transformers and we don't even have search in there yet. Once I get this search in there, I'm just going to, oh. Yeah, you need a business development team to work with Qualcomm. Exactly. Fuck that shit, right? I'm going to stop building my own chips. I'm going to build my own chips. Put this, put this plate down on my own stapler. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, but these things have lots of lots of compute. Uh, no, I don't want to buy 10 chips. I want to buy 100,000 chips. I will buy 100,000 chips, okay? Please sell me 100,000 chips. I will wire you the money. $20 a chip. I will wire you $2 million. Um... Their chips aren't twenty dollars, so that turns out to be part of the scam. Oh, Nvidia. Oh. Uh, what, what is what is oh, Nvidia's got the Orins now? How much compute do these things have? These have a hundred tops. Wait, Jetson or Nano? When are these coming out? Hundred bucks, hundred bucks. Oh, not a hundred bucks. It's too much. This is the problem. Nvidia's over. Ah, I can give you a hundred dollars. I can't give you one ninety nine. Forty tops. Not even, no, this one's 40 tops. This one's only 20 tops. And those are tops. How good is the GPU in this? How many, flop, how many tops is the GPU? List of NVIDIA SOCs. Is there a good Wikipedia for this, too? Uh, mobile GPUs. Novel GPUs. Tegra GPU. Tegra? No, these are the old ones. They don't make these anymore. Do they still call them Tegras? I hear Orin. Okay, they're still in the Tegra thing. Here we go. Um, AGX Orin. Or 
Yeah, I mean, this is what we need. They're just too expensive. Why'd Atlan get canceled? Their next SOC will be called Thor. Replacing the canceled Atlan. They're too expensive. AMD? I haven't seen any accelerators from AMD. So if you buy like the most expensive variant of the chip, I guess these chips are like broken a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see? Look, how much are me two hundreds? You want to know how your how well your your thing's gonna gonna hold up? Here you go. You can buy a me. Oh, this is a me twenty five. How much do these used to cost? Here we go. Here's a me twenty five. It's sixteen thousand dollars. Here's how much a me twenty five costs now. 90 bucks. <laughs> you can't use them for shit. <laughs> um, oh, the M, oh, the M2 chip. Oh. And that's what I really want. Fifteen point eight tops in the neural engine. A beefy GPU. How fast does this run the open panel kernel? I forget. I mean I didn't optimize it at all, so we'll see. Wait, this is actually pretty terrible. Uh, let's try image equals two, float 16 equals one. Okay, 17 milliseconds. So it's slightly faster than what we have right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's 18. Oh, this is, okay, that's just because, that's fine. So it's, it's, it's 17 milliseconds for, to match what we have right now. That's like, um, it's almost the same on the common three actually, but we didn't optimize it at all. Put a 4090 in it, yeah. It's a shame, Nvidia charges too much money Qualcomm won't really let you buy the chips. I um, um, this one. Hey, how can I send a message to George? You're sending a message to me. One of the questions I want to ask George is if AI and robots will ever understand and live the essence of life, or does it depend on the limits of computation? Um, no, this one, where, where's the one about consciousness? I don't understand someone as smart as GH say consciousness doesn't exist. I see this like phrase a lot. Like I don't understand someone as smart as, 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 as George saying X. Well, look, if you think that I'm smarter than you, then maybe you're wrong and I'm right, right? Did you think about that? Maybe you're wrong and I'm right. So we're gonna specifically talk about consciousness and since people love to, to, to eat this shit up. Um, so consciousness is usually, uh, separated into, into like the hard problem and the easy problem, right? Uh, the easy problem is the concept of like, 
okay, you know, the things like alive can respond to queries. Yeah, the easy problems are concerned with behavior and mechan mechanistic analysis, the relevant neural processes, right? Um, so, yeah, like the, the, yeah, I mean, the easy is kind of a joke, but like nobody doubts that you can make a system that can talk, that can process, that can, that can do everything, right? That's the easy problem of consciousness. So if that's how you're defining consciousness, then sure, uh, with enough brain power funding, we'll probably crack it in this century, right? Reductive inquiry. Um, no one denies the easy problem of consciousness, but usually when people use this word, they don't mean to refer to the easy problem, they mean to refer to the hard problem. The hard problem of consciousness is the problem of explaining why and how humans have qualia or uh, phenomenal experiences, right? Um, it's related to this, this word qualia. Uh, the, uh, where, where, where is, the existence of the hard problem is controversial. Uh, I do not believe the hard problem of consciousness exists, and I'm in good company with Daniel Dennett, Massimo Piglucli, Tom Metzger, Patricia Churchland, and Keith Frankis, and cognitive neuroscientists. All these people agree with me that consciousness, qualia, phenomenal experiences are all a crock of shit. Uh, and that's true, bro. And that's, that's the truth, right? Um, and like the people who don't, I think are actually clinging to religious ideas. And look, I'm religious. I just like, like it's hard for me to... I believe in God. I believe God created the universe. Even, even you know, the Jesus stuff. Uh, kind of, it sounds, you know, it sounds pretty plausible to me. You tell me the world is 6,000 years old, I might believe it, right? But listen, listen, just hear me out on this. You know, people are like, George, how could someone as smart as you believe the world is 6,000 years old? What about the dinosaurs and carbon dating? And this is true. But I ask this question. Have you ever started up a game of Pokemon and wondered why Lieutenant Surge has a right to? Do you know that all Raichus evolved from Pikachus, right? But you never saw that Raichu evolve, right? When the world was created, when the Pokemon Red world was created by God, he just put that Raichu there, right? Like it didn't evolve from a Pikachu, right? So, so you know, just I'm just saying the world might be 6,000 years old and don't be like, how could someone as smart as George believe that? Well, I'm just saying it's possible, right? So, you know, I'm just saying, and the hard problem of consciousness is stupid. <laughs> They didn't prove it. You can't prove it. It's just like, it doesn't make any sense, right? Um, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's, that's basically the only comment I wanted to respond to. Uh, check the replies to that comment. Oh, yes, the replies to that comment are, Sometimes George just says stupid things. Um, that's right. That's right. D do you believe in the right you? Then you believe the world might be 6,000 years old. That's all I'm saying. All right. Good. You got a real answer. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's today's stream. We got search working. We got some search working. It's very exciting. I was really bummed about the tiny corp, but now I'm less bummed about the tiny corp. Um, uh, do, we have, do, we have, do we have a last do we have a last question today's stream very good vibes thank you thank you uh, after work tech you're welcome um, I think therefore I am yeah well, well you know what you ask chat GPT if it thinks therefore it is uh, no I didn't get an M2 I still got an M1 um, high quality entertainment. Thank you, thank you. Uh, when I move to Ukraine and fight there, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Ukrainian actually. My uh, great grandmother came from Ukraine. Um, so uh, How much time is it to get stable diffusion tiny grab? Well, once we have search working, who knows? Um, the sky is the sky is uh, the limit. Uh, uh, man. Joshua Bach, yeah, I haven't listened to some of his stuff. I like this looks Friedman. Uh, Imad is definitely a boss. Yeah, no, someone's got to fight against these people. No, you don't really. No, 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 no. Today was a positive vibe stream. I'm not going to go into it. Pissed me off yesterday. Treadlock on Peloton. Uh, don't.
don't, don't, man, don't, you know, don't you push me, man, you push me, you know, I, I, these products, if the products work for you, when you bought the product, is it really yours? Oh, well, oh, you know, you can, you can, um, no food that I decided, I'm going to go eat a nice burrito, yeah, uh, The voices are starting to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, look, I like I like that they're funding. Um, we looked at the RK WV thing. That looked kind of cool. I, I didn't look into it too much to see if it's real. I'm waiting for people like, what is the actual bits per character in these models? Eh, actually, it's not even that useful because what's your test set? It's all. Mm, once your language model is large enough, it contains every random pattern. Um, how do I seduce my crush? The truth is you can't seduce anybody. You just need to find someone who's already pre-seduced by you. Answer, change your crush. Don't have one itis, bro. Um, this so role's hard to drive now. It drives like a dream. Uh, are you going to take the next LSD trip? I don't know. You know, you guys know about all the mushroom chocolates not being mushrooms? It's 4 ACL DMT. Uh, don't get scammed. I don't know. I haven't done drugs in a while. Uh, actually, that's not true. I smoked weed last night. If you count that as drugs. Um, consciousness requires that the network is recurrent. Probably true. Carmack said this. It made a lot of sense. Uh, did I look at Noster? Is this one of these like uh, only because I'll, I'll look only because because you said a lot of other good stuff in the stream. So this is some, like uh, uh, yeah. The problem with oh. Wait, is there like a website I can go to where I can see some some inflammatory comment on Noster? Like this is the problem. You go right to Twitter and right away you're offended and you're drawn in. Um, if I believe in Jesus, do I also believe in the sacrifices Mayans carried out to their gods? No, their gods were fake. Jesus was real. I'm a Christian, okay? Right. Um... I think I'm a Catholic, but then you talk to some people who and they want to like talk about whether like the cracker and the wine are actually the, the blood, body and blood of Christ. And I'm like, all right, guys, this is going too far. It's a damn cracker and wine. Um, <laughs> have I read the Bible? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm more of a fan of an Old Test the Old Testament than the New Testament. Um... I am not Jewish. Uh, I'm not. It's not true. Um, I do like bagels, though. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm. No, I haven't. Uh, no, I'm not going to go. Uh, no, I, I think there's a few. I think there's a few sort of like cultural differences. Uh Though I did see, I, I saw a great thing about like, you know, people are always like, uh, you know, Jewish people are smart, right? Like, and this is actually true. Jewish people in general have, uh, have, uh, have, have higher IQs than uh, non-Jewish people. Um, and <laughs> so, you know, in every intellectual movement, you're going to have an overrepresentation of Jews. And that's why uh, they're used as a scapegoat for things. I, I like that. I like that. Wow. How did you guys, how did you guys get me talking about Jews, man? You know, you're really, you're really, you're really, you're really, where, 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 where are we going today? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, no, Kanye, Kanye, Kanye kind of jumped the shark, man. He could come back, but he kind of jumped the shark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a lizard. Uh, 
I would get classified, Doc. You just can't. You know, you, you, you guys understand that you all make the American political system look like absolute clowns, right? Like, I hope all these people... I don't know. Nah, I'm in a good mood today because search worked, but I've been kind of bummed about... about um, just how bad culture is. Also, how many people reach into work at Kama, and I'm like... Like... You obviously you, you have to know things. You have to. But I can't contribute to the open source, open pilot repo. But you should hire me. Well, why would I hire you, right? Like, like the, 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 the job is to contribute to the repo. And if you can't contribute to the repo, I, I don't even know. Or they think they're gonna like game it. Like, could I get a different hiring manager? Like, bro, there's no hiring managers. It's me. And, like, Alex and, like, a bunch of other people on the team. Like, it's not... You're not going to game it. Um, OpenAI has 250 people. Uh, yeah, that's too many still, but... Uh, no, there's some good people at OpenAI, definitely. Uh, I, I wish that, like, uh, they would stop with the... Like AI safety, I, I I can't I still can't no, don't get me started on this guys come on we're in a good mood we're in a good mood um we're in a good mood uh do you have a girlfriend you were hot yes I do have a girlfriend um games we've been playing lately I've been playing Polytopia a little uh. Yeah, opening I should get their name revoked. You're not even like overestimating your abilities. Like it's just a question of like 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 it's the people who understand they can't contribute to the code, but also think we should give them a job. Or like, do you know every part in a cell phone? Right? If you want to come work for us, if you want to be our supply chain manager, you have to know every part in a cell phone. And then I ask you, what's an inductor? And like, you don't know? You're trying to like 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 what's an inductor, right? Tell me about it. Um, nine JTAG, yeah, you should definitely apply. Uh, you've contributed to 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 a bunch of things. I don't contribute to OpenPilot, but contribute to a bunch of my things. Uh, yeah, if, if you want to apply, I'll give you a phone screen right away. Um, your VIP on the stream. Uh, how do they even get interviews? No, well, some of them don't. How do you survive the woke college culture? Is it that bad? Don't go to college if it's that bad. I don't know. I think some colleges are worse than others. It's so fucking bad, bro. What, what, what specifically? What specifically is bad about it, right? Like, there's a lot of... Um, you know, the people, the, the Wokies are never going to listen to anything I have to say. So there's no point in talking to them. You can only talk to the anti-Wokies who actually might kind of listen. Like, you are losing every time you let the Wokies define the frame. Right? Like, like, let's look at, let's talk about something like transgender bathrooms, right? The minute you're opposed to transgender bathrooms, you've already accepted the existence of this as an issue. The minute you're opposed to gay marriage, you've already accepted this as an issue, right? Like, it's not an issue. These things are so stupid, right? Like, 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 what, why, why is it a way, 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 you know, and I don't mean they're stupid in the sense of like, okay, but there are gay people out there who really want to get married. O okay, get married. What does that have to do with me, right? What does that have to do with the government? What does that have to do with anyone, right? Like, this is not a, this is not an issue. And by making it an issue, they distract you from all the other issues where they're, you know, looting and stealing trillions of dollars from you, right? That's, that's basically the root of how all of this stuff works. It's not a conspiracy theory, right? Uh, Washington, D.C. has two groups of people, and the real problem with both groups of people is they both agree on the frame, right? They might take opposite sides on something like a transgender bathroom issue, but you gotta just step back and be like, what the fuck? You're stealing trillions of dollars, right? Um, so this is what I mean about the like woke shit, right? Like woke shit doesn't affect me. 
doesn't like like I'm gonna go eat a burrito. It's not gonna be a woke burrito. It's gonna be a normal burrito. Um, what if gay marriage is illegal? Ah, like 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 like. But you're already framing it. You're already like framing this thing as an issue, right? What the hell is gay marriage? What is marriage? Right? Like like what are what is what is what is marriage without like a like a. Like a church, right? Like there's no, there's no thing. It's not like a thing. Right? It's not like aluminum, right? Like aluminum's a thing. You can go there and you'll find that that in every alien culture they have some word for aluminum, right? There's many things that don't have anything that looks like marriage, right? Like marriage, I, I don't exactly know the history of it. I don't, you know, it's it's, it's probably some. I mean, to do, do, do like. Tribal people do pre-Judeo-Christian religions have marriage? I, I doubt it. Um, that's what I mean, right? Like you're getting, you're getting. Uh, I have marriage, I have marriage is a contract. Look, I'm never getting married, right? Like it's, it's really, it's not a good contract for, uh, for men to sign today. You believe in government institutions? You believe they exist, or you believe they're good? <laughs> How does it do your crush? <laughs> Uh, right? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. What would you tell people who have their culture and someone else tries to change it? Well, who's changing your culture, bro? You can have your culture. Just exclude them from it. Right? You got to watch out for that. You got to watch out for people who are trying to come into your culture and change it. You just, like, say, you know, have a firm idea of what your culture is and be like, No. Um, you know, I, I kind of think I've <laughs> come around. I've been listening to uh, uh, Pat the Bunny, right? Uh, the Johnny Hobo and the Freight Trains. Ah, uh, man, you know, I just I like like um. That's like a uh, New Mexico song. Of course, we we can't play it because it's because it's because it's copyrighted. Uh, mm, yeah, we are revolutionaries, but we are the revolution. And sometimes I think this whole movement is me and you, and maybe we'd be better off if that were true, because at least we know where we stand, and we can tell our comrades apart from the man. Uh, You know, the, 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 the greatest trick that they, they pull is convincing, like, like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I just, I just don't know how you guys can like, like, you know, stand under the pride flag put up by Procter and Gamble and talk about how this is the revolution and finally liberation and finally like, no, man, like, no, you did. Oh. Um. <laughs> Guys, I, I think that we just need to separate a whole group of people who think that you shouldn't be alive, right? Like, like, why do those people get a say in anything? Right? Like, yeah, you know, there, I mean, there is some truth to like, they don't want you eating meat. They don't want you eating plants. They really just don't want you existing. Um, and you lose me right away. You know, you lose me right away if, if, if you say uh, you don't want me to exist. Um, but so when you talk about, right, back to the point of bro who thinks college is too woke, like, tell me what's going on, right? Like, don't sign up for those classes. I, I don't think that, except for the fact that we don't fully embrace finitism in all math classes. You know, I don't think, I don't think math is woke. I think you could probably take a, uh, you know, discrete math classes and, and uh, as long as you stay away from the, 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 you know, the, the, uh, Uncountable infinity stuff. Nothing about math is woke. Yes, I'm branding uncountable infinities as woke.
the freshman requirements. Yeah, bro, just don't take them. Like, you're the customer. I don't know. Like, college wanted me to take this stuff, and I emailed and said, like, I'm not taking this stuff. Like, you want me to come or not? And, you know, they're like, oh, okay. Or smooth manifolds. Well, I don't know enough about smooth manifolds. No, like, they're trying to decolonize math. You guys, like, half of this is, half of this is, is, is like, just just Republican bullshit where they're like, oh, they're teaching critical race theory in the schools, right? No, they like focus group tested the words critical race theory. They know that they trigger people and now they can put whatever bullshit they want in the education system, right? Like it's, it's just that. Uh, so there's no, you know, and also there's no point in talking to Wokies, right? So we only talk to the non-Wokies here. Um... Uh, we believe in the pirate flag. We believe in jumping on trains and, uh, you know, being a hobo, man. Oh, the Maine or Master thing. I don't know. Honestly, Maine's probably better because it's shorter. How many times have you got to type Master? Uh, but, like, the way that that was, like, pushed. I don't know, man. Like... Maine does actually make more sense. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. No, like, 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 I don't know. Whenever, it, whenever the default changes to Maine, I'm not going to put effort in to change it back to Master. I don't have a strong opinion either way, right? Like, it's not like a, like a, like a wokey thing or a non-wokey thing. It's like, uh. Um, are there master and slave cables? Well, master and slave are used in IDE. I mean, like, master and slave are fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that terminology, right? I just don't really understand why it's called a master branch. Like, it doesn't make that much sense. Um, I don't know if I changed it back to master. I'm probably, like, it's one of those things that, yeah, maybe I was upset about it. And I'm like, what? This is such a stupid thing to be upset about. Right, like, why? Who cares exactly? Uh, yes, you can say master, you could say slave, uh, you could say retarded, uh, you know, you can say all these things, uh, and it's fine. Um, uh, the slave retard branch, yeah, let's go. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, all right, we moved into moon landing conspiracy. How do we always end up here? How do we always end up talking about these same stupid topics? I can say Hitler. I can, I can, guys, I can. Um, you know my take on Hitler, you know my take. If Hitler was a winner, you know, uh, I might feel differently about him. We all might. But if Hitler was a loser who killed himself in a bunker after massively losing a war. So, like, bro, like, you know, where's your Hitler now? <laughs> um, you know? Like, you don't even have to go to any, like, Hitler was a bad person kind of thing. Like, he was just a loser. Like, he lost the war. Right? Did he lose the war? Yes, he lost the fucking war. He killed himself in a bunker while his city was being encroached from the Russians, mostly. Um. <laughs> yeah, he killed himself because he was winning some. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Look, in Russia, we call him Putin. You're actually in Russia right now. I hear Putin's approval rating is decently high. I don't know if that's true or not. Like... Uh, Hitler's <laughs> um, all right. Wow, we were going to stay on for a little more questions. Putin can set his approval rating. No, but like Putin has a real approval rating, right? And it's a real question, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know what Putin's approval rating is. What I will say, I, I went to Russia once and, uh, you know, I will say this about Russia. We'll stick to facts. My visa was for eight days and it said cities permitted to visit Moscow. And I'm like, oh, God. Okay, fine. And it took a lot of paperwork to check into hotels. 
Um, but then my experience with China is very different. Um, you, you hear about a communist country where there's no freedom, or maybe not so much anymore, but I'm talking like, you know, 15 years ago when I first went. And you show up in China and you're like, wait a second. <laughs> the media completely lied to me about this place. Right? This place is actually awesome. Um, and China has, has, has declined a bit, but yeah. You heard from Russian friends it's 90% for Putin. Uh, yeah, again, and then also, yes. It's, 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 uh. What about China's ghost cities? I've been to some of them. It's like wild. No, you know, I love, I love like the Asian philosophy of like, you see that field? We're going to build a 10-lane highway here. But bros, why are you building a 10-lane highway? No one lives here. They will. I like that. I like that, you know? Um, in America, it's like the highway project where we're going to add two lanes to the six-lane highway. Uh, I'd say 70% support him. Yeah, you know, look. Um... I would much rather have a world where we have actually sovereign countries than where we have, uh, you know, just a just a one world order kind of thing. Nothing scarier to me than than a than a like unified world order. I mean, there's not going to be a unified world order. That, that, that doesn't make sense, right? Just in the same way, there's not going to be in the same way, there's not going to be a. Uh, like a paper clipping AI. Right? The, the, these things just, if you have a world order, it's eventually going to fragment, right? There, there's never going to be one stable world order boot being stomped on your face forever kind of thing. It, 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 life finds a way. Uh, pollution's got a lot better in China. Turbo America is where it's at right now. No, American culture is fucked. Uh, we financialized everything. I was, um, I was looking at, 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 at Chris Dixon's uh, Wikipedia this morning, you know, just to kind of see like what happened to all the VC companies and like, dude, dude, that's just, like, don't SPAC, you know? How brutal is that? <laughs> I like Elon's take on the on the WE app. He's like, I didn't go. Not because it's secretly bureaucrats running, secretly globalists wanting everything with a master plan. Actually, just because it's boring as fuck. Um, <laughs> do I think TikTok's a weapon against the US? Do you think... Facebook is a weapon against Europe? How about Google? Do you think Google is a weapon against the US? Uh, at least there's no woke culture shit in Russia. Yeah, but could I like walk down to the local store and get a burrito and like it be good and reasonably priced? and? <laughs> I don't know. I remember the food being really bad. Um, and then again, to be fair, I was in Russia 10 years ago, so maybe it's gotten better. Um, you're going to put your life savings into Shapeway stock. Apparently they have like 30 million in revenue and now their market cap is 28 million. It's like tempting. I got a couple million bucks. You guys want to do a hostile takeover of Shapeways? <laughs> Um, look, look at that market cap. Should we do a hostile takeover of Shapeways? Wow, we have to fire a lot of people. Man, I could turn this company into something profitable. Where's the Shapeways headquarters? Wait, no, 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 real talk. If anyone out there works for a private equity firm and wants to fund me doing a, a, a hostile takeover of a, of a, a leveraged buyout of, of, of Shapeways, I don't know how these things work, but 
Um, put me in charge of Shapeways and I will turn the company around. <laughs> uh, how does a company with $30 million a year, $33 million a year in revenue, only have a $28 million market cap? Right? I can fix this. Uh, oh, it's in Long Island City. Wait, why do I have so many offices? First, we're closing down all the offices except one. And then we're firing 70% of the people. And then we're gonna make Shapeways profitable. And then I'm gonna pocket the profits. I was gonna quit streaming, but the views, the viewers are going up. You guys are liking this stuff. Shake weights. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, that's how we do it. We we don't we're not starting with the we're not starting with the ICs. We're starting at the top, right? Um, yeah. Cheaper food in Russia is insane trash, yeah. Uh, my plan is stream tomorrow. Oh, wait, we should we should figure out. Uh, I'm checking my phone. Let me see when burritos are, are. I think they might close at two, and then I really gotta go. Mm, it's open till ten. Mm, happy hour. Convince PyTorch to buy Shapeways for you. Uh, you can do an audio splitter. Yeah, it sounds like too much effort, guys. Hmm. Why don't I do a virtual reality town hall? Because the metaverse is lame. And as long as meta like keeps like like you stole hacker and now you're trying to steal metaverse and you're making it lame. We don't have a comma four. I wish we had a comma four. We don't have a comma four. What chip am I gonna use? I hate Qualcomm and I hate NVIDIA. NVIDIA is too expensive and Qualcomm's too hard to work with. Um, oh, the reality pod or whatever? Yeah, probably. That'd be right. Yeah, they lost Carmack, right? Like, eh. I don't know. I, I hope Carmack comes back to comes back to that. And uh, like AGI is like everyone's trying to do AGI. No one knows how to do it. There's no there's no wins in AGI in the next five years. There's actual wins in in AR in the next five years. Uh. Do I plan on making my own chip? Nah, nah. I really don't want to. Oh, he has a non-compete. Among Us VR? This is the graphics? This is the graphics? I don't know, I shouldn't judge it based on the graphics. crewmates try to do. I'll fix the ship. I 
I'm actually kind of liking this. <laughs> Can I play it on my Steam Deck? Yeah, I love Alex. It's good. No, I bought a Steam Deck. I bought a Steam Deck yesterday. Uh, Alright, guys. I'm hungry. Last question. Make it a good one. Did you decide what type of arm, comma, body we'll use? Uh, no. No. We're, we're a long way from arms. Uh, I'm going to eat a burrito. Uh... When moon never, guys. The future's canceled, haven't you heard? They traded away. No, I'll leave you guys with this. Uh, what was it? It was in like, um, it was American Spectator, China versus US capital markets. Oh, you know what it's called? It's like the value of nothing. Ah, the value of nothing, capital versus growth. Ah, yes, American Affairs Journal. Yes, this. Uh, everyone should read this. Uh, everyone should read this, and this is why we all got rugged. And this is why, uh, you know, if China would accept me, if China decided, like, not to be racist, it'd be racist is dumb, guys. Like, well, okay, no. Here's the truth about being racist. Um, if you have... If you have a homogeneous population, it is better, right? Uh, unlike these, you know, what they might tell you in a McKinsey funded study about how diversity improves things. Um, it largely doesn't, right? Like, like the reason countries like uh, Iceland work as well as they do is because, well, uh, you know, everyone's someone's cousin in Iceland. Uh, so so that, that kind of uh, all all works and this is a, a truism right and then you'll get countries like uh like america or brazil where you have a ton of diversity uh, no it's not to be said that you can't rule a country with diversity but you need some axis in which everyone's the same and america's done this with a civil religion uh but yeah so china unfortunately is racist um this is i think no surprise to 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 anybody uh like you know it's, it's han chinese is a superior people uh, that's what they believe and like there, there's some you know the Japanese are racist too it's not a bad thing right like I really I don't say that word with like the the charged connotation it has uh, you know here in oh, he's a racist you know like like the charged connotation it has here in America like it's really you can make a decision right like you can make a decision to to be racist or not to be racist and there are pros and cons to, to these decisions um, you know like if you kind of subscribe to like a libertarian, uh, maximize capital worldview uh, where you have like a strong civil religion racism is kind of stupid um, that's kind of my take on it but uh, so China unfortunately won't let me in uh, in a, any like real meaningful way you used to be able to move to China as a foreigner you used to interact better in some ways but now it's become more uh, so China's not really an option for me which is too bad because this is the people who ever since the 80s have scammed America out of trillions of dollars, uh, you know, outsourced all our manufacturing, and, like, we're just kind of fucked. Um, there's a chance for a resurgence in AI, but not the kind of way I see it going. Uh, I don't know. It's just kind of upsetting. Um, is there a better country to live in? I mean, maybe I gotta I gotta go back to like like there's countries that I have hopes for. There are like multiracial countries. I mean, you need to be in a multi look as a white guy. I can't. I'm never gonna be Chinese or Japanese, right? Um, you know, then they have they have like maybe a country like Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia is 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 is, is multiracial. Is uh, you know probably I don't know. I've always I've always said Malaysia. Uh, yeah, Hong Kong used to be a good place. So sad. So sad. That, that, that really made me sad. Um, 
move back to Ukraine. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, sorry, Ukraine. Uh, even before the war, you know, just the GDP is... You can identify as Asian. And for some reason, um, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, New Zealand has lost it. Oh, these countries. Yeah, yeah, these countries have totally lost it. No, no, no. These countries are all... I'd never moved to, uh, like, Europe or New Zealand or Australia. These are Canada. These places are way worse than America. Um... Move to Russia. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, guess you read this. It's a great, it's a great article. The value of nothing, capital versus growth. All right, thanks for watching my stream. We did search today, and then we went on a long rant. Uh, leave comments in the video, and we'll answer.